Hello, everyone. I am Ezekiel Bruni, writer and general tech slash nerd guy here on behalf of VPN Mentor and brought to you by Hastily Applied Makeup. How does it look? I'm here actually to talk about how to access the BBC iPlayer from anywhere in the world. I'll get into that in just a second. If you find this video useful or helpful or enlightening, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And maybe hit the notification bell icon, leave a comment, all that good stuff. All right, so with that out of the way, imagine this, you're a UK citizen. I'm not, but you are. Or is it just the ones in England who watch BBC? I don't really know that much, but uh, I don't really know that part. My point is, you are traveling abroad, you're from the UK, and you've decided you want a little taste of home, which I get it. You want to watch some of your good old BBC shows. So, you know, you go to the iPlayer, and uh, you click on, say, who do you think you are with Dame Judi Dench, because she's awesome, and you run into this horrifying little message that the BBC iPlayer only works in the UK. Now, what happened? Well, the message is self-explanatory. It only works in the UK. But how does it know you've gone abroad, say, to Mexico, where I am? Let me show you. Every computer has an IP address. That is the address your computer gets when it hooks up to the internet. So Mexico has a set of IP addresses that it uses. So does the US, so does Canada, so on and so forth. And basically, the BBC iPlayer and many other streaming services identify you by the IP address your computer is using to connect to the internet. So you need to find a way to trick the BBC iPlayer, essentially, into thinking you're not here, you're somewhere over here. That is actually not very hard to do. What you need is a VPN. <laughs> A VPN is a little program which essentially is designed to trick uh, websites and other servers into thinking that your traffic is actually coming from a server in Great Britain or any country of your choice. On top of that, they encrypt all of your traffic. So, you know, you're, uh, what you're doing is more or less, if not anonymous, more secure. So what VPN should you use? Well. I personally, and of course, we, my colleagues here at VPN Mentor, all recommend ExpressVPN. Why? Well, in this case, it's because ExpressVPN is actually one of the best options for streaming video <laughs> in high definition and over long distances. It's built on technology that's specifically designed to make streaming easier, because if you get a VPN that lets you access the BBC iPlayer, for example, but does not support the high definition video, what's the point? It works on every, just about every operating system, every platform, and it's not terribly expensive. So we recommend it for this purpose for just that reason. Also, it unlocks a lot of services that other VPNs simply cannot. Now, how do you uh, use it? Well, let me show you. Now, I'm just going to get my camera out of the way so I can show you exactly how to set up and install and use ExpressVPN. It's quite simple, so uh, you should be able to follow along pretty easily. Obviously, you'll need to click the big green button first. Choose your payment plan, enter your email address, and then choose your preferred payment method. There are lots to choose from. And that's about it. Later on in the process, you will need to set up a username and password, but I won't be taking you through that part of the process because, well, I enjoy my privacy too. So I'm just going to skip ahead. Once you're logged in, you should see a button to download ExpressVPN on whatever platform you are currently using. Now, I am on Windows, obviously, so I'm just going to download it for Windows. And just save that. Uh, now, these blurred out bits are activation codes. You do sort of need those to uh, install and set up ExpressVPN. Again, I'm not showing you know the activation codes for obvious reasons because they belong to me. But you, so your you know activation code will be different. Uh, to install, you just hit that button right there. Let's minimize this in the meantime. Wait for the installer. When you want to sign in, just click that button. Allow the program to make a few more changes to your computer. And then you'll need to copy and paste that activation code I didn't show you earlier. 
I'm just going to do that and skip ahead a little bit. Now, once you have logged in, it will ask you if you want to start the application every time Windows loads or, you know, Mac OS or whatever you're using. I do want that, so I'll just click OK. I don't want to send in data, so I don't have to. It will automatically choose the closest server for you. You should note, by the way, that you can choose servers from all over the world. You just go through here, look for a country. These are the recommended locations, of course. But you can look through all the whole world and all the over 3,000 servers. Once you have the server you want, you just hit the connect button and you're good to go. So I'm just going to click to connect. And boom, it's working. I'm connected. With everything installed, I've connected ExpressVPN to the UK London servers. Now let's just refresh this page here. And oh look, that message is gone and a play button is in its place. Let's see how that works. Just checking that the audio is off for copyright reasons. <laughs> All right, everything's working just fine. And thank God, because Dame Judy Dench is a treasure. All right, we're close to the end of the video. There are just a couple of things you should probably know. We have a full review of ExpressVPN linked down in the description. So, you know, do check that out. It, uh, it outlines all of the tests we ran, all of the results of those tests, and all of the services we tested with ExpressVPN, all of the streaming sites, for example. And basically, it's a all the details you won't get in this video. Uh, we also have an interesting little tutorial on how to access Netflix from anywhere. You know, uh, your US shows or whatever shows you want. And, uh, you know, you can find that link in the description as well, maybe in the title cards for this video. And last but certainly not least, there is a link to our coupon page down below. Now, we offer coupons so you can get a discount on your first payment for ExpressVPN and a whole bunch of other VPN services. So you can get your first month or even your first year off at a considerable discount. So, you know, do check that out. We have uh, different deals all the time. G give it a look. All right, that's about it now. I hope you had a good time. I hope you found this video fun, enlightening, you know, all that good stuff. Do hope you'll give it a like, maybe subscribe, because we'll have a lot of tutorials and tips and how-tos and VPN comparisons coming up. And generally, we'd love to have you here. So this is Ezekiel Bruni signing out. Have a good one.